All right, guys, it's been about a year since we made a video, um, you know, about the breeding of the electric blues. And uh, the truth is, is that the, the male actually, uh, actually died. However, we did get a solid batch of, of 30 males. I actually moved the fish from my house to my friend's house. This is his, uh, this is his 150 gallon cichlid tank right here, right? 150 gallons? Yeah, this one's 150 gallons, and uh, his name was Boy Blue. He was in here. Uh, this was the female he actually uh, had the babies with. All right, we'll get the light on for in a second for her. But uh, he had the babies. He had about 30 babies. She did it. She had about 30 babies, and uh, about half of them were males, you know. Um, and we took them and uh, as we could sex them because of their coloring we moved them into the the big tank and this now there's you know seven or eight males in here and this is uh this is one of them here you can just see the coloring you know they they definitely are not the biggest fish in the tank um so they their colors don't show as much as some of these other fish in this tank but you could definitely see how the potential of them. I mean, these are some seriously blue fish here, right? You know, he is just a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. He's only about a year old. I, right there, about a year old now? Yeah, just, just one year old. So that's what they look like. And uh, there's about seven or eight of them in this tank here. It's pretty awesome to see the offspring of the, uh, of the electric blue cichlid. Um, the females are over here. Where's the light for this one? The females are over here as well. Um, some of these are the offspring. We were definitely less less careful about what we did with the females. Uh, not all of them are his offspring, but we got about one, two, three, four, five, six. I think about six of those are his offspring. Maybe five are. Uh, and we have them all separated too. We've been thinking about breeding them again, but we'll see. Um, maybe, maybe not. They, they don't retain a lot of value, so breeding these cichlids for profit, just at this point in time, isn't, isn't worth the hassle of having to keep up on a thousand fry all at the same time. So we've come to the conclusion. But yeah, this one actually might be a male here. You can see he's got color on him he doesn't he's not he's not beautiful but he definitely has some blue in him or her and uh where's the light for oh you got this on perfect this was the female that that this is the female that blue had babies with and she is really just a substantial fish to say the least i mean the blue in this girl is incredible. And she's actually right next to the males. <laughs> you can see she's kind of been getting crazy. She probably would, would get pregnant immediately if we mixed her in with the, uh, the males. I could see her, as soon as, soon as she had eggs, she would probably get them, uh, get them inseminated or whatever the right term is. But yeah, look okay, yeah, she's, she's she's just trying to attack them actually. <clears throat> Might have to put something up in between. She just has a ton of blue on her. Like compared to the other females, you know, you see all the blue in her, and then you see you take a look at these guys, like this fish is probably just as old as her. Came from a different store. It's probably not even an electric blue, but it's about the same size and it has no blue in it at all. You know, this guy here, he's got some like gold, this girl actually has some silver and gold in her, but not a ton, not a ton. And this is a, uh, this is the dragon blood. The dragon blood has actually had offspring as well since we started doing the videos and there's actually a couple of dragon bloods in the big tank they are definitely small compared to all the other fish 
and have very little color at all. Oh, here's one right up front here. Here's one right up front. Um, here's a batch of them right up front. Oh, shit. There he is. Yeah, he's, he's a, he's a good looking fish. But, uh, where's Big Daddy? Here he is. There's Big Daddy. The dragon blood of Big Daddy. And those are his offspring. Here's, here's a group of them right here. I'm trying to get a shot. Cool. There's the dragon blood right there. And uh, he, he actually did a really good job of separating all the fish. This, was, this is actually the Mabuna. All right, I'll show you the Mabuna in a second. This one here is a um, angel fish tank, but here's the rest of the dragon blood. <laughs> All right, you can just see here's a whole batch of them. You know, it still looks like there's about 30 of them in here. I don't even know. They're almost impossible to really count. But as they grow, you just try to pull the males out. Uh, it's a little bit tougher <coughs> to tell the males with the dragon bloods over the <coughs> dragon bloods over the electric blues, but you kind of just figure by size, you know, this one and, and the coloring on the fins, you know, like look at the coloring on this, on this one here. It looks really big, but it's a small fish. Like when I'm all close to it, it looks like a big fish, but it's really pretty small. But she, she has some blue in her fins. He, you know, that one is, you know, you would imagine that one is a male. You would imagine that that one is a male. If you were to take your best guess, you would say that that's a male dragon blood baby cichlid there. But yeah, they all, they are all separated all here. Pretty cool. And then over here, we have uh, the, the Cobalt Blue Mabuna, right? The Cobalt Blue Mabuna. He is a big, <laughs> a big boy. Let me tell you something, he is a big boy. And, you know, when you do some research, I've heard that you aren't really supposed to mix these fish, the Mabunas and the peacocks but they, they do fine he's no more or less aggressive than the peacocks all right so that's the male cobalt blue and then over here is the female that uh she's in here we just saw her a minute ago there she is she's beautiful too She's a beautiful, she's a beautiful fish. She's like an orange, right? She's like an orange, cobalt blue, but you could just see the size difference. Like when you get these, when we got these fish, they were the same size. You know, look at this colossal fish. He's mega. And then this is a female. All right, and you could just see the substantial size difference from the male to the female on the Mabuna. Um, but most importantly is uh, their offspring here, which are definitely pretty skittish. And again, like you can't be a hundred percent with the males and the females. You really could just make your best guess. Like this one here, see this is how skittish they are. So this, this one here, you would assume that this is a male because, and I'm just trying to move gently here so I don't freak him out, but this fish here, he, he probably would be a female or this one here is a female because she has no color at all. She has next to no color, but even so, there's still some blue on the fin, you know? I don't know, it's tough to, it's tough to ward them off. But those ones back there, you know, you just, you generally you get the idea that these are males. And there's one in particular. I think he's in the, I think he's in the castle right now. He's really, he's a really an incredible fish. I'm gonna try to wait for him to come out. I think that's him right there. I wish he would come out so we could get a shot of him. 
But what a what a fish this guy is, man. He is deep, deep blue. Deep blue like midnight blue with black. It doesn't look like he's gonna come out. So that's some more offspring. Those are the uh, Mavuna offspring. But then um, at some point we took the female and put her back in there. Do you remember why? Just fired her ass in there, right? And then it wasn't even a week, right? Maybe two weeks she was in there, she was pregnant again. She was in there for two weeks, she was pregnant again, so we had to pull her back out. And she had another batch. And this is her second batch over here. And uh, this is, once again, just a very large number of fish. Right? You can see how much smaller than they, they are than the other ones. Compared in size, you know, these, these ones are just so much smaller. But nevertheless, they are beautiful fish. You can see the uh, blue on them. And one last thing I want to show you guys with the cichlids is uh, in this tank is actually an interesting mix here. We got uh, we got dragon bloods. We have mambunas, and we have, I think that's it, just dragon bloods and mambunas babies in here. But you gotta see these guys, it's feeding time. There's a lot in here, there's a lot. But guys, thanks a lot for watching. We're gonna try to post videos more consistently on uh, the fish room. Uh, Chris has a beautiful fish room here. At the time, is predominantly cichlids and uh, yeah we'll see you guys on the next show.